Any more soap? That's it. No, I mean, is there any more soap in San Francisco? Mr. Monk, you've been scrubbing your hand for nine hours. I'm surprised you have any skin left. It's not coming out. I can still feel it. I think it's spreading. What are you doing? Wait, is that kerosene? Light me. What? For the love of God, light me! Okay, Mr. Monk, I'm not gonna light your hand on fire. Fine. Oh. You're not, you're not, get out. you are overreacting, all right? All you did was shake a man's hand. You're right. You know what? I'm glad it happened. It's the worst possible thing that could ever happen to me has happened. I shook hands with a leper. And I survived. Exactly. The worst moment of my life is behind me now. I'm free. <laughs> Wait. Okay, now I'm free. I'm um, actually, Mr. Monk, it's not completely over. Uh, don't be mad, but I talked to Mr. Bronson. You did what? What? He called here this morning. The leper, he called me? On what phone? On this, on this phone? Yes. Mr. Monk, you can't catch anything over the phone. Oh, 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 now all of a sudden you're an expert on lepers. Okay, you know, Mr. Monk, he's a nice man, all right? He's in pain. He was oh. crying his eyes out. God. And, okay, listen to me. He, he upped his offer. He said he would pay you $25,000. All you had to do is meet him again. Natalie, listen. Let me explain something to you. No. That's it? That's your argument? Okay, let's go through it. A. Whatever he's asking us to do is probably illegal. B through Z, the man is a leper. You know what? I don't know anything about leprosy, and neither do you. So I called a doctor. He's a specialist. He said we could come in and talk with him. Let's just see what he recommends, OK? I mean, it can't hurt to listen, right? Okay. Are you holding your breath? Is that Randy? Oh my God. That is so funny. Not funny in a ha ha way, but a funny in oh boy, this will really embarrass him way. Miss Tika? Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm, I'm Dr. Polanski. Hi. Hi. So, so nice to meet you. Uh, this is my boss. This is Adrian Monk. Thank Hi. you for seeing us. It won't take much of your time. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doctor, can I ask you one thing? Certainly. Right over here. What? Is that Randy Disher? Yeah, Randy was one of my first patients. Do you know him? Uh, I know Randy Disher. I don't know that kid. Well, you know, teen years. I don't know any of us survived it. <laughs> <laughs> we could talk over here. Oh. Mr. Monk, you're not going to catch anything in here. I promise. Come on. Now, what can I do for you? Could you explain to my friend that leprosy is a serious condition? It's very contagious. Well, actually, that's a common misconception. See? For one thing, it's not called leprosy anymore. It's called Hansen's disease. Uh, it's quite rare. Most people are naturally immune to it. And if you do happen to contract it, it's easily treatable with an antibiotic called Halazin. Uh, see, I've been talking to this man. He wants to hire us, but he's allergic to Halazin. Yes, that does happen. Is his condition full-blown? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, uh, yes, yes. Yes, full-blown. Full-blown. Sir? Full-blown. I don't think you have to worry. As I said, it's not very contagious. <clears throat> I've been practicing for 15 years. I've only seen one case firsthand. I can't do it. I just, I, I can't do it. Well, how about this? If you do contract the disease, I'll treat you for free. The hell are you talking about? How about this? We never call the guy back. We don't see him again. I avoid him like the plague. Yeah, 
You know, uh, exactly like the play. Hey, you know, can I just talk to you for a second, please? It just excuse us. Please. Okay. Mr. Monk. Did you hear what he just said? No. He said it's almost impossible to catch. Yeah. In that sentence, for me, the word almost is really the most interesting word. Okay, Mr. Bronson has an affliction. He needs our compassion and understanding. You know what? Let me let you in a little secret, Mr. Monk. You're no picnic either. A lot of people would rather not deal with you, but they do. They reach out to you. And Mr. Bronson is offering us a lot of money to do the same thing, okay? And I've been talking to him. You wouldn't even have to shake his hand. Good, good, because I would rather die. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.